Hi, my name's Cece, and I am really concerned about Monsanto. So this is my video revolt. So, let's get down to the basics. One, GMOs, what are they? Genetic, genetically modified organisms. What they do is they splice open a gene. And when they splice it open, they put in a bacterial toxin. That toxin makes the plant, when it grows up into a plant, it makes it resistant to herbicides. Okay? All herbicides. Why would they make that? <laughs> okay, well, they're making it because Monsanto wants everything to die on the land that it's creating, except for the plant, because that's how they make their money, right? So, everything dies when they spray the stuff, except for some things don't die. Some resistance is happening there, because just like everything else, there's always resistance. So, super bugs are created, super weeds are created, and what happens is they end up spraying way more spray than necessary, way more pesticides and herbicides, spraying all that stuff on the food, and you go to the grocery store and you buy something, right? This is not organic. This tomato has all of these pesticides that they rained on top of this while they were making it right? So this tomato is chocked full of poison. Doesn't look poisonous, right? It looks like a regular tomato. But no, it's full of poison! Don't eat it. This is an organic tomato. Okay? GMO. Not, maybe not necessarily GMO, but pesticide. Okay? Pesticide. Organic. Pesticide. Organic. One's bigger than the other. That's pretty much it. So, why are they doing this to us? Oh, FYI, see this tomato? This non-organic tomato? You can't wash that shit off! No! You consume this, and you consume the pesticides. Regardless of what people tell you, you can't wash off pesticides! You can't uh, put it in a sink full of vinegar and expect it to get rid of all that stuff. Pesticides are now embedded and this tomato. It's all on the inside. It's not just on the skin. No. So, people are getting sick, right? People are dying. Some people are dying. Yeah, they're dying of cancer. Other people are getting fat. It's a, it's a horrible thing. Uh, you know, the U.S. doesn't care what's going on with our bodies. They don't care how sick we're getting. They don't care if we die. As long as they don't die on their dime, right? We don't have health care in this country. Why don't we? I'll show you why. That's why. There's a double standard in this country. Obama signed the Protection Act. And when he signed the Protection Act, he also, he, he not only threw away his promise to the American people, but he threw away my faith in the American government. Now I have none. And it's all about because of what they're doing to our food supply. Nobody has the right to mess with our food supply. So what can you do? Go outside. Plant your own garden. I know gardening's not easy for everybody. Plant what you can. Uh, you eat a lot of cilantro? Plant that. Any herbs you want, plant that. Those are usually easy to grow. Um, tomatoes are a little harder, so I buy them at the grocery store. 
but there's some other things that I grow. Um, I have sprouts at my house every week. They're better for you than lettuce. They're organic because I don't put any pesticides in them. So do what you can. Buy local, buy organic, make or buy your own. And notice I said make because some people just don't care. They just want to go to the grocery store and buy something quick and convenient. There's no such thing as quick and convenient anymore. You're not going to have a quick quick or, or painless death from eating this organic stuff. So you might as well just settle in, do what you can, and uh, get out there and fight. You need to fight. I'm fighting. I'm a lead organizer in Austin for the March Against Monsanto. And... Uh, I will continue to fight as long as there is a fight. I urge you all to do the same. Otherwise, this tiny little organic tomato, someday if we don't fight, there won't be any tomato, regardless if it's organic or not. And uh, I want to leave you with how I taught my daughter about GMOs. <clears throat> my dad, my daughter had a lot of questions. She's very smart. She's 10 years old. She said, Mommy, we'll just eat organic. It's no big deal. I thought about it. And I said, Honey, it doesn't matter because pretty soon there won't be any organic. Right? So, and she goes, Why not? I said, Well, think about it. Let's say there's a hill, okay? At the top of the hill, they're growing a field of corn, and they're all GMO. And they come along and they spray pesticides all over those corn, that cornfield. At the bottom of the hill is a, an organic cornfield. Now, despite the fact that we know now about tasseling at the time, I didn't know what tasseling was. I didn't know that those little strings in the corn whip around in the air and that's how they pollinate themselves. They cross pollinate that way. But when I was explaining it to her, I said, you know, that, that cornfield is getting sprayed by pesticides and it rains in the middle of the night and all that rain just goes down on the dirt into the dirt, goes down the hill, and gets into that cornfield. So it contaminates that cornfield. So then I started thinking, not only does it contaminate the cornfield, but it's gonna contaminate our oceans. Where does the water go? Where does the water go when it rains? It all washes down, right? Because you know, we've all started that deforestation thing and uh, there's hardly any trees now. So what's going to stop the rain? Nothing. So it's going to go into our oceans and then our fish and all the, um, all the mammals in the ocean are going to get contaminated. We're already contaminated. I bet you if I went right now and had a test to test my DNA to see if I'm GMO, I would be. I would be. So remember that when you go to the grocery store. Teach your children to be thankful for what they have right now. Because unless we do something, this is all they will remember. But their children may remember nothing. And that's a truly, truly sad part.